Hi, boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at word problems again, but we're going to be distinguishing between a multiplicative and an additive comparison and using bar models. So we've already talked in previous lessons about how to use a bar model for an addition problem, as well as how to use a bar model for a multiplication problem. Now we're going to be distinguishing between those two and also looking at problems that might incorporate both of those operations. So when solving word problems, it's important to look for key terms that will help you know which operation to use. For in addition, you might hear terms such as more or more than, some, or in addition to. With multiplication, you may hear terms such as times as many, twice as many, or equal groups of. So keep those terms in mind as we're looking at these problems. Here's our first problem. Maria brought eight cupcakes for the class party. Jeremy brought 12 more cupcakes than Maria. How many cupcakes did Jeremy bring for the class party? Okay, so we're going to think here for a minute. We know we're talking about a class party and we have students that brought in some cupcakes. So let's take the information that we have. We have Maria and we know Maria brought eight cupcakes. Then we know we have Jeremy and Jeremy brought in 12 more cupcakes. So that word more tells us we need to, you're right, we need to add. So we're going to have a portion of Maria's plus the more that he brought to equal our total for Jeremy. So we knew he brought 12 more. So when I have a bar model that looks like this, it has two parts and a missing total, that tells me I need to, you're right, we need to add. So let's look at what that equation would look like. We would have 8 plus 12 equals J and J would equal 20. So Jeremy brought in 20 cupcakes. Very good. So that was an example of an additive prop, prop, additive word problem using a bar model. Let's look at another example. In this example, it says Mike brings in four times as many cupcakes as Maria. How many cupcakes does Mike bring in? So we have to think again, how many cupcakes did Maria bring in? So we had Maria's, do you remember? You're right, she brought in eight cupcakes. So we know Maria brought eight, and we see Mike brings in four times as many. So if I hear times as many, that tells me I need to, that's right, we need to multiply. So Mike is gonna have four groups of eight, four times as many as Maria. So that tells me I'm going to have to find my total by multiplying four times eight to get my total for Mike, and four times eight is 32. So Mike brought in a total of 32 cupcakes. So in this example, we saw the words times as many. We were able to take the number that we knew from Maria and find four groups that were equal to Maria's to solve our multiplicative word problem. Here's one last problem. Okay, this one's a little bit more tricky, so let's take our time on it. Becky brought six balloons to the class party. Jessica brought three more balloons than Becky did. Earl brought three times as many balloons as Jessica. How many balloons did each student bring to the party? Well, if I read through that, that gets really confusing. I see a bunch of students and a bunch of balloons and I get my mind all confused. So our bar model is definitely going to help us in this situation. Let's start one step at a time. Let's first look at Becky. So we see Becky brought six balloons. All right, so we already know about Becky. That solved one problem. Now we see Jessica brought in three more balloons than Becky did. So Jessica is going to have more. If we have more balloons, that tells us we need to add. So our Jessica's balloons are going to be the same as having our six that Becky brought plus three more. So our equation would be six plus three equals J for Jessica and J equals nine. So Jessica ended up bringing in nine balloons. All right, we're almost done. We just need to figure out Earl. Going back to my problem, I see Earl brought in three times as many balloons as Jessica. So I'm gonna write Earl down. 
And I know that Jessica brought nine. If Earl brought three times as many, times as many tells me that I need to multiply. So I'm going to have three groups of nine. And my equation would say three times nine equals E for Earl. And Earl brought in 27 balloons. So our grand total of balloons, Becky brought in six, Jessica brought in nine, and Earl brought in 27. Notice the question did not ask anything else, only how much did each student bring? So we want to make sure we're answering the question that it's asking. And we are done with that problem. So in that problem, you can see we had an addition portion as well as a multiplication portion. And we had to work each one in a single step so that we could get to the final answers. So when solving comparison word problems, you can use bar models to represent the problem. Use keywords to help determine the appropriate operation. And you may need to use more than one bar model to solve multi-step problems. I hope that information was helpful for you. If you liked this video and felt it, found it helpful, please click like below. Also, please subscribe for more lessons from the Math Maniac. Talk to you soon. Bye.